Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm Lenny the Woodworker, and now we're on to the next step in building your own strip canoe. Um, on the, in the last video, I had you steam bend and glue up the inner and outer stem. And, and if you remember, I had, it, had you glue it up so they come apart, because it's two pieces. Here, I'm trying to do this like a selfie, here is the inner stem, and if you look, See how we did this? We, we glued it uh, to the stem piece, the inner, see? We have the three pieces. And then here, see if I can do this. This is a tough one. This is the outer stem. See the three pieces, okay? Now essentially, when we're done, this is gonna go over this, okay? I string this one up to hold, to try to hold the bend because uh, we're not going to get to that for a while now, okay? So this is how we do this. We take the inner stem, the three pieces, get rid of the sacrificial, and then if you could see, I screw it to our frame, our framework there. And uh, you could see that you could take, you, we'll be taking it off later. I think I already took a screw out of here as I work my way up, okay? The next step is you have to shape this. See how I did this? So what we do is, I'll get my pencil here. We draw a center line when we mount this. The center line obviously uh, stays center, center down here, all the way up and stays in line with everything. I'll try to show you everything. We have the center line in line with everything to keep this straight. Then what we do is, on each side, if we can see these lines, we got a center line. I'll try to get the best view here, there we go. Then we go three-eighths and three-eighths that way to create a three-quarter inch line there. The reason for that is three-quarters of an inch. I'll, I'll tell you what these are, but these are a quarter inch each. For you remember, we made our outer stem and inner stem an inch and a half. So it'll be capping the end grain and all of this when we mount it. Okay? The next thing is... Remember, it was square, like up here. I tried to do this for you guys. This is square. When you bring your strip across and you hit the square point, there's nothing to glue. So you have to angle it in line so where it comes across, it hits like that, and you have plenty of glue space because you want to glue it. So you shape it but you don't go past that line we made. Remember we went 3 eighths off center each side? So when you hand plane it down, don't go beyond that and just make the angle roughly whatever pitch this comes in. And it's gonna change as you go up, okay? The next step is, so that's mounted, you start it, you shape that, you're ready to start stripping. First you gotta make your strips. They are a quarter inch thick, by three quarters of an inch. And then you route a cove at the top there, and now I'll flip it over, and a bead, because they will fit inside each other. See, that's by itself. So you wanna mill up all your strips, and it's a lot of them. This boat's gonna take about 80 strips. So you mill all those up, have those set aside, then you start stripping it. See what we got going on here, see? Now my method of stripping, there's a lot of different ways of stripping. My method is these screws. Uh, the most common method is people use a stapler, and as they, they go, eh, I can move around now, I'm doing a selfie style. There we go, get a little bit better lighting. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so I use these screws, but what a lot of people do is as they start stripping it, or they staple it on there, um, and then the, the, the oh, do it over here. And then these spaces, they put staples to help keep it together. And then when it's all stripped, they pull the staples. Some people don't do anything and they just use clamps and just clamp it so there's nothing, you know, so you see nothing, no holes or anything. This is the method that I came up with. I like it because I look, I like the visual at the end. I'll be pulling all these screws out and then I fill all the holes. So down the whole boat there, if you could see, get out of the way here it's good it's it just a, it's has a nice detail to it that I I like and I'll be showing you how to fill the fill those in later but um 
so yeah, you can either screw it to the ribs or staple to the ribs. Uh, the next thing is the first piece, some people take it at the bottom, is most common, and then they run it straight across and then fill in, fill in the end. I, I like to, let me see if I can show you this. <clears throat> what do we got here? I like to curve it all the way around. I like to have everything to be curved to the shape of it. It's just the look that I want. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to mount your inner stem, shape it, and start stripping the canoe. You're going to make your strips quarter by three quarter. You're going to route a cove, and a, a bead and a cove, so they fit in each other. Oh, and as you go up, I don't want to forget anything for you guys. Um, on, onto your form, put painter's tape so the glue doesn't, doesn't stick to it because um, we'll be popping it off. Don't want to forget that. And then each one's going to be glued. You want to do the cove side up because you could put the glue in there. It'll sit in there really nice. And then you could put your next strip in there. And where are we at here? Then you could put your strip in there. And then you could either staple it um, or do the screw like I do. I pre-drill it. I put a screw. But I also, if you look close, I do a screw with a washer. I don't want to dent it too much because... You'll have to sand it out. Actually, the different clamps, I'm gonna keep going with this. The clamps that I find I like is either, see how I tape it? I tape it, and then I use this clamp tight to hold the tape. And what I do is, so I don't mess up the cove, quarter inch dowel. So you put the strip in, quarter inch dowel, which holds the clamp in place so you can press down and you, you don't damage the cove because it is a quarter inch so it's a quarter inch dowel okay i like this clamping method and then i also like my favorite but i want to show you both is this the three-way clamp or face frame clamp i can clamp it to the side still have the quarter inch dowel and then i can press it tight so it all the glue oozes out the next thing i like to do is as you glue it glue Glue's gonna ooze out. I keep a bucket of, um, where are we at there? A bucket of water. Uh, this way I can clean the glue as I go, make your life a lot easier when it comes to sanding this. Okay? Now, so what I want you guys to do is mount your inner stem, your outer stem, which remember, we labeled it. See the A in there? Um, and I string it up, set that aside. I want you to do that. Make your strips, start stripping it. I only want you to strip, as of this video, strip it up to, where are we at here? You're gonna to wanna to strip it up to around this point. Cause in the next video I'm gonna show you, when these come across, this angle changes, they're gonna to have to start mitering up here as this gets flat. Um, and I wanna show you how to do that to allow for the inlay of that outer stem. Down here, the outer stem's gonna cap right over gonna cap over, but then it has to flow into it. It gets a little tricky. That's gonna be a, a, a video on itself. So I think I, I went over everything. Inner stem, make these, start stripping it with screws, staples, um, or you could do nothing at all. You could just glue them together and people clamp it right, you know, right to their form so they don't see anything. And like I said, just get up. You'll see as you start stripping it, It'll get to the point where you want to stop and wait for the next video. And um, we'll meet up then. We'll go over the next step. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this video was informative. I tried to show everything. Um, uh, do the best I can with the filming. I'm using a selfie stick now. I kind of like it. I get to show you what, what we're doing. And um, please subscribe because uh, this is going to get better. And like I said, after this boat is done, we still got a while yet. Um, I'm going to do other videos on building other things, home improvements, things like that. So subscribe. It's not just going to be building a boat. It's going to be all, all kinds of stuff. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, when we start, we'll be finishing up stripping it. Thank you for watching.